Okay, so here are our two bottles of Deer Park water going head to head in the uh, volume contest. I don't know what to call this, but we have contestant F frozen, contestant U for unfrozen. So we have F U. Wait a second, that's not right because contestant F should actually be contestant U since it was frozen and then unfrozen. This was never frozen, so this should be, let's do contestant N for non-frozen, non-frozen water. So we have F and un, no wait, hang on. We have fun instead of FU. All right. Go with me here. You can probably wipe that off. Anyway. Frozen and non-frozen. I put this bottle in the freezer. It froze. It expanded. You can see it kind of distorted the bottle a little bit. Um, it can push out these things and all these little ribs and everything to keep them from freezing. It's also to keep them from breaking if you drop them on the floor. Uh, just like those jugs of milk had that little thing on the side that's concaved. So anyway, as it was uh, thawing, it started shrinking. That's kind of what this is from. It started shrinking, and then it, the water level started going down. And you can see it's still, there's no air coming out of there. So the, my theory was that maybe the force of the freezing, the expansion of it, pushed water out here and dripped into the freezer, but there was no ice in the freezer, there was no uh, water, anything in there. So, uh, Mr. Science on Facebook, uh, I think Brett, said, all right, get, uh, get some graduated whatever, uh, we call them measuring cups here in, in our world. So, two 16-ounce measuring cups which should be great since I'm measuring 23 ounce things, but well, let's see how this goes. Wearing gloves for science. Let's take contestant N. See how far he goes. Anyone else have to pee? Uh-oh. Might have to get a bigger, might have to get a bigger boat. Let's see how it goes with contestant F. Oh, I know what you're going to say, some spilled out. Well, I think it's fairly clear. This is about, maybe I'll get a bigger. All right. <laughs> All right, got a bigger measuring cup. Let's try to do this without spilling everything. That's what this little thing's for. What's this supposed to be? 23.7 ounces? Well, it's just under the 20. Wait a second. That says 24. Oh god. It's a little above 24 ounces. They we got bonus water, people. Bonus water. All right, so let me pour this back in here. What do you do with the rest of it? You drink it? Hang on. Mmm. Delicious. Yeah, all right. Oh, so that was empty. That's all that's in there. Let's see how many ounces that was. Oh, 
20 ounces. And well, it's about we're looking at 19, just just under 19, maybe maybe right right at 19 ounces. It's at the two and a thirds cup line, whatever that is. So it looks like uh, there's 16, 17, 18. Yeah, right about 19 ounces. So we lost what 4.7 ounces? No, four ounces. So four, somebody math that for me. All right. I don't know how that happened, but um, I'm gonna have to drink all this water. Let me know what you think, science geeks.